Right, my big guy at the moment, you can run around the scene and can collect cannonballs and stuff. Uh, I want that cannonball collection to be a bit more useful because uh, at the moment we're not keeping track of how many cannonballs we've got. Uh, but it's kind of a game mechanic to be able to say, oh, you know, I've collected uh, all the cannonballs on this level, therefore I can go to the next level. Or it could be you have an economy, you know, you can collect five cannonballs and you can afford the big gun, something like that. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I want to keep track of how many cannonballs we've collected. We're going to use variables to do it and we're also going to display the number of cannonballs collected so far to the user. So to do this, we have to go to a slightly hidden place uh, because we're going to use a variable. Variables are how we keep track of values in the game. So if you click this project manager icon in the top left corner and under, or oh, where is it? Is it under preferences? No, game settings. There's a global variables button and we can add a variable. And I'm going to call it cannonball count. I try not to use spaces when I'm doing variable names. String means text. I don't want it to be text. It's going to be a number. Number. Apply. And I don't know if you noticed, I, I was a bit quick there, but it, it said, uh, go back into it, it says the, the default value is zero. Starts at zero. Okay. So back into the event sheet, what I'm I've already got is big guy in collision with cannonball and it deletes the cannonball, but I also want it to add one to that variable. So under other actions, variables, global variables, value of a global variable, we can choose cannonball count and we can add one to that. Okay, so we've added one to the global variable cannonball count. Uh, that will work, but we also want to display that to the user. So what we need to do is add a new object, which will be from scratch, I think we'll choose. And somewhere in here displays a text on the screen. That'll do. Initial text to display is going to be zero. And we're going to give it a name because we might end up with a whole bunch of different uh, things displaying to the user. Uh, we're going to call it uh, cannonball display. I think that's all right. And uh, we can change fonts and all, the, all that kind of stuff another time. Let's get it working first and then worry about that. So cannonball display, I'm going to just drop it in this top left corner. You can see it shows zero. So what I want to do is that at the moment is not linked to the number of cannonballs I have collected. So we also need to go back again. So delete cannonball, change the global variable cannonball, and then change the text of cannonball display. So modify the text and we're going to set to value. Now we've got a potential problem here because I don't know if you can see there's a little speech mark, speech marks. It says enter a text between code quotes or a valid expression uh, call. We'll see. I'm not actually sure. I'm going to say cannonball. Um, and actually, no, that's not how I do it. Wait a second. It needs to be a variable cannonball. Do I just say that? Variable. Variable, global variable. Two string, global variable. Cannonball count. Whew. Did you follow that? Okay, you could always just pause the video, go back and just find that little bit again. So basically it takes the this global variable cannonball count and it turns it into a string. So it turns into text because if you try and display a number in a text box, uh, you'll get some kind of error or something. And I think you'll also notice how the autocomplete there, because I vaguely knew what I needed to type. I knew it was something to do with variables and then that all popped up for me. I think that should work. Anyway, let me try this out. Um, that autocomplete can be super helpful when you're just trying to work out how to do something and it just kind of hints, tells you what you need to know. So I've got a zero top left, it's a one, it's a two, it's a three. I think that's for this video.